In this Abacus video tutorial, we'll be going through reports. I'll show you how to access different kinds of reports and filter for the specific information you want. To access reports, I'll click reports on the left side of the screen. And first we'll start with the sales activity report. You can see here that the sales activity report is displayed in a daily view. You can switch this to a week, month, range and compare view as well if you'd like. On the right side of the screen, you can switch to the previous week, previous day, and also advance to the next day or the next week. On the top left of the screen, you can filter through different order types to see specific reports. On the top right of the screen, you can use the payment method drop-down box to filter through orders with different payment methods. To see a breakdown of the sales every hour for the selected date, just click the Export Hourly Sales Report button here. To see a report of the items you sold for the specified date, just click the Export Order Items report here. The next report I'll show you is the Sales Summary report. To access it, just click Sales Summary within the Report section. The Sales Summary report can show you the total amount of sales for a day, week and month. Here you can see the total net sales, the total gross sales, the number of transactions, the average net sales, and the average gross sales. Next, we'll take a look at the Top Selling Products report. To access this report, just click Top Selling Products within the Reports section. The Top Selling Products report allows you to see the top selling products for a specific date range. Here you can see I'm viewing the report with this starting date and this ending date. We can also filter through different order types by clicking the order type drop down box. We can also filter by product category. Here you can see what the top selling product was for the day. The next report I'll show you is the sales by category report. To access this report, just click sales by category from the report section. The sales by category report is viewable on a day, week, month, range and compare view. You can also filter by order type here. Here you can see a pie graph of the different product categories. At the bottom of the screen you can see total sales for specific product categories. In my previous video on product categories I showed you how to group multiple categories together into a group. Here you can see I have a beverages group and also a food group. The last report I'll show you is the cash register report. To access this, just scroll down to the register subsection and then click cash register. Here you can see all POS registers that have been opened and closed for the selected date range. Here you can see the starting date and here is the ending date. In this example, we'll take a look at ID 94, which is the first entry. On the far end of the table, you can see the opening time of the POS register, and here you can see the closing time. The last column shows you the number of orders taken while the POS register was open. Going back to the start of the table, you can see the device name for the iPad which opened the POS register. You can set the device name in the About section of the iPad settings. The next column is the cash sales. This is the total amount of cash sales that went through the register while the register was open. The next column shows you the credit card sales. Any orders that were paid with a voucher would be shown here. Here we can see any orders paid with a credit account. Here we can see the cash pay-ins for the register. This is money that has been added to the POS register after it was originally opened. Next we have cash payouts. This is money that has been taken out of the POS register after it was originally opened. For more information about cash pay-ins and cash payouts, please see a video we made on the subject in our front-end training series. Next we have our cash refunds and credit card refunds. The opening cash is the amount of money that we put into the POS register when we opened it for the day. Closing cash shows us how much money was counted in the POS register before it was closed. In my example, I closed the register without counting any of the cash that was in the POS register. For more information about opening and closing the POS register, please see a video on the subject we have in our front-end training series.